everybody and welcome back to Sammy Snakes and today is our second weekly Turtle Tuesday. Today we're going to be reviewing Petco's Terrestrial Turtle Care Guide. So I've seen other reptile keepers make videos where they go through different care guides from pet stores so I decided to for Turtle Tuesday to do one that mentions Banksy species which is the painted wood turtle. So I went on their website and found the care sheet and I have printed it out. So this is from Petco's official website. So it says that this care sheet includes painted wood turtles and Asian box turtles. The average adult size is 5 to 12 inches long depending on species. I want to say that's like slightly off because I feel like turtles tend to get to at least six inches, um, box turtles specifically, but that's only off by an inch. And an average lifespan up to 40 years in proper care depending on species. Um, that is true, they can live quite a long time. Box turtles can live a bit longer though, there have been species reported to live up to 60 years, so you don't want to take 40 years like as that's the maximum because they can live longer and it just says for diet omnivore that is true they eat bugs and um vegetables personally i feed banksy mealworms with shredded lettuce and strawberries that is what banksy eats so that is accurate um this says they will reach adult size in seven to ten years depending on species and under ideal conditions upgrade habit size Upgrade habitat size as your turtle grows. So, they can reach adult size sooner than seven to 10 years. Um, obviously, it depends on how big the turtle will get because they'll generally get to that adult size faster if they're a smaller species. Um, I wanna say that's more like four to five years than seven to 10. I'm not positive on that, but I feel like 10 years to grow to six inches isn't quite accurate. And then also upgrade habitat size as your turtle grows. So you can put the box turtles in a larger enclosure when they are babies that they can also be in when they are adults. You don't necessarily have to go for a small baby enclosure right away. Be, um, as long as they have enough hiding spots and they have their basking point, their cool sides, their water, they'll be fine. So we'll go into diet. A well-balanced terrestrial turtle diet consists of a pelleted commercial turtle diet, gut-loaded crickets, waxworms, mealworms, and earthworms, grasses, stark leaf leafy vegetables, and fruits. Um, so the first problem is the turtles need a pelleted commercial turtle diet. They do not need turtle pellets. Um, you can feed them calcium and vitamin dusted vegetables with their mealworms or crickets or waxworms or whatever you're feeding them and they'll be fine. I'm pretty sure they just say that to like kind of get people to buy stuff from them that they don't need pellets at all. Um, obviously you can throw them in but that definitely shouldn't be a main diet or any concern if you can't give them pellets just make sure they have their vegetables and their um, bugs and they'll be fine okay feeding things to remember when feeding your terrestrial turtle fresh clean chlorine free water should be available at all times some turtles have a tendency to go to the bathroom in their water bowl so expect to clean and disinfect this daily that is accurate I change out Banksy's water every single day. I also do that for butterscotch. So I just do that for all my animals in general. So it's not too crazy. But yes, that is true. Um, and when they're hanging on their water bowl, sometimes they let out a little gusha gusha and you have to clean it. It says feed daily. That is also accurate. I feed Banksy every day. Um, he kind of can eat however much he wants, and then whatever he doesn't eat, if it's still clean, I can put it back in his feeding container for the next day. Um, I just kind of let him eat for no more than 10 minutes. Whatever he eat, 
Whatever he doesn't eat after that 10 minutes, I'll take away and feed the next day. Sprinkle food with calcium supplements daily and a multivitamin supplement once or twice a week. Yeah, it's generally, you want to give them calcium and multivitamin supplements. You don't want to give them too much multivitamin supplements, so I agree with once or twice a week. Um, I do Banksy's on, let's see, I think I do him on Mondays and Fridays is when I give him the multivitamins. And then discard uneaten vegetables and fruits within 24 hours. Yep, um, so as I said, I just kind of monitor Banksy and let him eat all that he can in that 10 minute period and then I take away whatever he doesn't eat. But you just want to discard them before they start rotting and going bad because you don't want them to eat bad food. So housing. So juveniles can live in an indoor habitat of a 20 to 40 gallon aquarium that allows for free movement within the habitat. So I disagree with keeping box turtles and tortoises in aquarium setups. Um, Banksy right now, I have him in a tub that has um, kind of like translucent but not fully clear sides so he's not as stressed. Um, personally for box turtles, I think wooden tortoise hutches work really well for them, even tortoise tables. So um, I disagree with the aquarium aspect adult outdoor pen with a screen lid at least three feet by four feet by 12 inches to accommodate normal behavior and exercise don't keep outdoors if temperature drops below 70 degrees so yeah i generally agree with that um if the walls of the habitat are tall enough you don't need to use a screen lid um if there are bigger birds in your areas such as hawks and eagles that might suit down and take your turtle i would recommend using a lid but if you're sitting there monitoring them you should be fine okay for substrate use pelican mulch or moss type substrate that retains moisture turtles may eat substrate if they do switch to something they can't eat so for banksy i have a coconut fiber mixed with aspen substrate um i recommend using a looser substrate for box turtles because they like to bury themselves so allowing them space to kind of burrow the way they like to is helpful so that's why he's on a loose substrate so temperature 75 to 85 basking area of 95 and nighttime of 70 to 76 so these generally are good guidelines um, I do think 95 may be a little hot for basking area, but that's just me. I think Banks Banksy's basking spot is at 92, so it's just a few degrees. So UVB lighting for 10 to 12 hours a day is required, and a day bulb can be used for basking area during daylight hours if not using a ceramic heater. So yeah, generally I have Banksy's UVB light on during the daytime, and then when sunset starts, I turn it off. And then you can use a heat bulb for basking hours or a ceramic heat heat emitter. Okay. Provide constant access to a shallow container large enough for the turtle to soak in and drink from. The turtle should be able to easily enter and exit the water bowl. Yeah, I have um, a large kind of ramped bowl in there for Banksy so he can climb up in it and climb out of it. And he can drink from it and chill in it. So it says you can house the same species of turtle together, but do not house different turtle species together. Um, this kind of depends on how well your turtles do with cohabbing. I know with aquatic turtles, some people will house different species together. Um, I only have Banksy right now, so that's not really much of a concern for me. And normal behavior. Some species are excellent at swimming, climbing, and digging. Provide an interesting environment. So climbing-wise, I do provide... He has like a log cave that he can climb on top of with some rocks around it so you can climb on those. But obviously don't give your box turtle like a tree stand to climb on because they're not going to be able to climb vertically like that. Over time with gentle handling, they can learn to recognize you as you approach. That's true. They can start recognizing people and be like, oh, this is my owner or this is the person that feeds me. Um, Banksy is still very shy. We're still working with him on socialization. So habitat maintenance, keep habitat clean and pick up leftover food and feces right away. Yep, 
clean and disinfect the habitat at least once a week. I disagree with this. It says to use a 3% bleach solution. Um, I would never use bleach in any enclosure. I use diluted chlorhexidine. Um, I would not recommend using bleach, like, ever. Um, just because even if there's just a slight accident and you don't get all of it off, that can really harm your turtle. So, I slightly disagree with that. Grooming and hygiene. Terrestrial turtles occasionally replace individual scoots as they grow. Yep, they shed their scoots as they get bigger. So, signs of a healthy animal. Active and alert. Eats regularly. Healthy heart gel with no lesions. Clear, bright eyes with no swelling. Healthy skin with no sores. And clear nose and vent. So, that is accurate. Um... I know for the red flags, it says eye, nose, or mouth discharge. Sometimes box turtles will just naturally produce, like, kind of like tear looking things on their eyes. So if the discharge is clear and it's not frequent, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, this is common health issues. This doesn't go over anything crazy. Let's look at this last page. So this says shopping list for needed supplies. So appropriately sized habitat. Yep. Commercial terrestrial turtle food. You don't need commercial turtle food. You can just use vegetables and fruits and mealworms. You don't need to feed them pellets. Substrate, moss. Yep, I like using sphagnum moss. Um, food dish and water ramp bowl. Mm-hmm. A mealworm dish. I put his mealworms with his regular food, but that's because I buy them deceased. Hiding place, climbing decor. So yeah, for climbing decor, just remember you don't want to do anything super crazy because if a turtle falls over on the back of its shell, it might not be able to flip itself back over. Um, plants. So for plants for box turtles, I wouldn't recommend using fake plants because you don't want them to eat plastic. So if you can find live plants that are safe for them to chew on, then I would do that. A basking bulb, a heat fixture, an under tank heater, UVB lighting, vitamin supplement, calcium supplement, cricket keeper, cricket puncher, cricket food. So that's only if you feed crickets. Obviously, if you feed crickets, you want to have a place for the cricket to live. You want to have the cricket food. So, you know, yeah. A thermometer, a humidity gauge, and a book about terrestrial turtles. You don't need a book about terrestrial turtles to have a terrestrial turtle. Obviously, you can do research online. Um, and for thermometer, I like using temperature guns rather than in-tank thermometers because you can kind of spot every temperature in the tank. And then for humidity gauges, um, you want to keep them in the spot where you're planning on having the humid spot in the cool area. So, yeah. Overall, out of 10, I'd give this like a 6 or a 7. I mean, it's not horrible, but generally some stuff is inaccurate, so I wouldn't use any care sheets from pet stores as facts of how you're going to care for your turtle. Um, overall, this isn't too terrible. I don't like how they put the wood turtles and the Asian box turtles together because they can have slightly different requirements heating and humidity wise so I think they should have done two separate care guides for that but yeah. so overall that's let's do a 6.5 out of 10 so it's not horrible I don't my main problem is that they say you have to feed pellets you don't have to feed them turtle pellets I have never fed Banksy turtle pellets, and he is perfectly healthy and doing great. So you don't need to feed pellets. Um, and also, you don't need to feed live or gut-loaded um, insects. You can always just feed freeze-dried and things like that. The reason Banksy eats the vacuum-sealed mealworms from Flukers is because... He's just scared of live bugs, so I'm not subjecting him to eating live bugs if he's scared of them. So, yeah, generally, I think that's an okay care guide. Not horrible. But yeah, 
If you have any questions about caring for a box turtle, obviously I'd consult. I'd look it up on Google, go to various websites and see what kind of lines up between all of them. You can consult an exotic vet and you can also just ask people you know that have box turtles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading of the Petco Terrestrial Turtle Care Guide and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more subscribe down below and if you'd like to see daily animal content follow me on Instagram at saltysam6045. Bye bye!